Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amiza and in today's video, I am gonna be doing my April plan with me. My theme for April is Scorpion Crosses or Myosotis or famously known as Forget Me Not Flower. I actually asked you guys on my Instagram story and one of you guys um, suggested forget me not so I thought it would be such a cute theme to play with so I decided to give it a go and see how it goes as you guys can see um, it is pretty easy to draw you just have to draw a tiny dot at the center of the flower with your black Pen, and then use your yellow pen to add a circle around that black dot um, and then you just have to draw five petals it's so easy you can even add some details to the flower but I like to leave it as is for this month theme I am choosing three accent colors which are light blue light gray and also black and you guys can also see i am just sort of alternate between these three colors um, to draw the flowers For the header, I am using the simple modern calligraphy style to fit in this month theme. Um, I use my pencil first um, to make sure that the header is nice and center, and then I trace it back with my art line drawing system in the size of 0 0.2. And of course, my setup is not complete without these little dots. And you guys probably know by now, I have these dots on almost all of my decorations and spreads. I feel like all my spreads are so simple. So um, by adding these dots, um, it kind of like enhance the whole look and make my spreads look nicer or more complete. Moving on to the next page. This is yet another simple spread. Um, there is actually no specific reason behind this spread. I originally planned to create a quote page, but then I decided to just um, write in the name of the flower. The name of this flower first came from the German term which is Fergie's main niche. I hope I pronounced this correctly. I actually have to ask my sister on the pronunciation. Um, anyway, there's actually a myth of two lovers who was walking along a river when they first um, see the bright blue blossoms. The man retrieved the flowers uh, for the woman, but he was swept away by the river and told her not to forget him as he floated away. Whether the story is true or not, it is certainly made the forget me not a lasting symbol of remembrance. The next page is my monthly blog. The same as my previous spreads, I first decorate this spread with a few more flowers, but this time is on the right hand side of the page. Um, with the lockdown and movement order that has been implied um, in March, I feel like I don't have a lot of things to do or a lot of places to go. So I decided to just create a one page monthly log and see if it works.
this layout is actually the same as my February layout. I will of course include the link to my February um, plan with me in my description box. But this one is a bit smaller. The size of each day is 3 times 3 grids. I divided the empty space at the bottom of the page into two sections which are for my personal and also my work stuff. The next page is my quote page. The quote says, look around you, appreciate what you have, nothing will be the same in a year. I feel like this quote relates with whatever is happening right now in the world. These trying times really teach us to cherish and appreciate everything that we have, cherish every moment because tomorrow is never promised. So back to this quote page. To decorate this quote page, I decided to draw another bunch of forget-me-not flowers um, like a border around the quote and I really like how this quote page turned out. On to the next page, this is my habit tracker page. Um, for this page, I am using the simple layout I've done previously, maybe last year if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it is very simple. All you have to do is write down the dates in horizontal order and the things you wanted to track in vertical order. And as you guys can see, I am using the same header style throughout the whole setup to create more consistent spreads. For the decoration of this tracker, I draw another bunch of um, forget-me-not flowers on the right-hand side of this page. Moving on to the next page, this is to support the hashtag stay at home. I'm going to list down um, 30 fun things I can do at home. So if you guys have any suggestions or maybe ideas, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And of course, after I finish um, writing down the list, I am going to share the list with you guys on my Instagram so that we all can stay at home and do something fun together. The next and also the last spread for this month setup is of course my weekly spread. So since April starts with Wednesday, I just jump right into Wednesday and create 5 sections for the days I have for this week.
to complete the whole decoration, I decided to draw another bunch of um, scorpion grasses on the left and also right hand side of this weekly square. Since I only have 5 days in this weekly spread, um, I have a lot of space in the spread so I decided to include another quote at the top of the page. So here's the final flip through of my April setup. I personally really like how it turned out, I think it looks pretty simple and nice. So if you guys end up recreating this theme, please tag me on my Instagram account. I would love to see your recreations. The link to my Instagram account is in my description. I think that's all for this time. Let me know if you guys have any questions and let me know what you guys think about this setup and it really means the world to me if you guys can help me grow my channel by liking this video and subscribing all right guys stay at home if possible practice social distancing if you go out and most importantly stay safe wherever you are talk to you guys again hopefully in the next video until then bye bye